Hello everyone. Welcome back. I am currently going into the prison, also known as the penal colony. I'm going to show you some of the uh, root areas where you can use lockpicks, stashes, find the bolt, and the escape pod. And we'll see what's going on. Alright, well to begin, obviously I started out in the gym area. So, you're going to be working with me because I only recently learned this map, so I'm going to be trying to take you quickly through this, but it might not work that quick. All right, well, near the gym, there's a place called Arrivals. This is going to be the first area that I'll show you guys, the Arrival area. And there's the security. Inside security. Hold on. I think there's still other players in here. Okay. Oh, there definitely is. Okay. So, um, in security, or in Arrival, there's a blue body here. So you can always check that. There's no tokens on these, but you can always just check this area. Good amount of loot. From here, we're going to keep going. And this is the library. And we're going to go down this way, right near security. Into this thing called maintenance. And this is going to be where our first locked door is. Okay, right here. And there's tool kits in here, so possibility of lots of blow torches and tool kits, stuff that you're gonna want. And here's the war bond pouch. There we go. I would go fight the player, but you know, for the purpose of the video, I'm not gonna go do that. All right, so we'll rotate back. And we're going to show you the next locked room that's on the first floor when you're coming out. That's where I started in the gym. Alright, there's the gym lockers. Visitation. All right. So we're going to head through Visitation. And we're just going to keep moving farther and farther to our right. What do we got here? Nice. Wow, my aim was horrible right there, guys. Okay. Inside... Of this area near visitation I think this one's also labeled security uh, it's not it looks exactly like the security place that we were just in on the opposite side though um, this one's gonna actually have a war bond pouch in it all right and a blue body with war bonds there we go and the pouch So that's the other one. And now we're going to keep going. All right. Here's a med bag. There's the kitchen. The kitchen airlock is back there where that red smoke's coming from. Inside. Inside here, we got heels. So there's a little meds for you. And we're going to drop down right here, guys. Oh, correction. Oh, yes, we do. There's the maintenance one. All right. This is the another maintenance place that needs requires a lock key as well. A lockpick, Jesus. My bad, my bad, guys. Needs a lockpick. So you're going to go in here, and you'll see lots of loose loot on the shelves. 
Look at that. We've got a blowtorch. Toss this one out. All right, and then we also have another war bond pouch. All right. And that's that's the two only two lock picked areas in this entire map, by the way. They're underground, uh, somewhat underneath those like visitation looking security places that you would see like security guards, uh, you know, doing gate controls. They're usually just right underneath it. All right, and now I'm gonna rotate through. One more time. There's nothing more in workshop that I was aware of. Be careful with these melee guys, by the way. They, they will one hit you if they actually hit you. All right, in this visitation uh, control area, there's a weapon crate. Oh, look at that. We got a Mac 10. I'm actually not going to take it. Um, I already have a couple of those. But now we're going to go inside the cell locker to show you the next areas. So that was kind of a rotation of all of floor one. Also, all these cells that are opened up, there's loose loot that spawns in them. Not guaranteed, but loose loot can spawn. Look at that disinfectant. All right. And you can just check them all. There's just, there is loot. I'm going to drop down here and go to the center building. By the way, that was floor two. I apologize, everyone. That was floor two. Floor one sells. There's there's loot inside all of them. But we're going to go right up to floor number three, which is the next area that you all will be interested in. There's a weapon crate on the second floor in the center building. We're going to head up to the third floor. And I'm going to show you a, one of the floor stashes. I've only ever found one in this map so far. But it's right here. It's going to be located in this prison cell. Right there. And that's the only floor stash I found. And now I'm going to show you where the vault is. Which is on third floor. Um, I do want to let everyone know this. The only way to access third floor is through this middle building. You have to go up to the third floor to get up here. From here, you just go inside. And I'm going to show you where the vault is, which is right to my right. And here's the vault. one pouch in this vault as well uh, let's see what can we get rid of this is pretty much gonna be it should be a machete nope, nope. Where is all right that's the vault this is like the bunk area on the third floor. You just gotta check for loose loot. There's gonna be one more pouch up here, actually. It's actually gonna be right in this area. Right near this dead body, there's a pouch. Third floor. And that's gonna be it, guys. Um, for all the loot areas. You got two locked rooms that are labeled maintenance on two opposite sides. You got a war bond pouch here. You got a floor stash on third floor. You got that, like I said, that war bond stash on third floor. You got the vault on third floor. And that's gonna be all the known loot areas that I'm still currently aware of. If you do find any more floor stashes in this map, just let me know in the comments. And I'm going to show you where the pod is now, which is the center map. This is the center right here, center building. I went down one floor, second floor. 
I'm gonna go out here, and there's the pod. And we're gonna head on out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.